Hello guys, Bingo Cat here, and today's video is actually going to be really similar to one of my past videos I made. In the past, I made a video called Using Windows XP Today Is It Possible? And in this video, I sort of delved into Windows XP and showed basically what using Windows XP Today was like and sort of kind of compared it a little bit to using a more modern Windows operating system such as Windows 10 or Windows 7 and that Windows XP like straight out of the box honestly really is not that ideal to use today but I decided that I wanted to take things a little bit further than I did in this in that video I decided I wanted to see basically what the heck you can actually do in Windows XP in 2017 so let's go ahead and turn Windows XP on and so first of all if you want to run Windows XP on modern hardware it's technically not supported if you have a computer made from about 2010 or older you can probably get Windows XP working with very minimal hassle but Around the same time that SATA hard drives started becoming more popular, which I don't know when the heck that started becoming more popular, but it was definitely really popular starting in the early 2010s. Um, basically, Windows XP does not support SATA drive installation out of the box. So the easiest way to install Windows XP would be to do it on an IDE hard drive. So you can definitely run Windows XP, I guess, on newer hardware, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. So what I have right now is I just have Windows XP running in VMware, just for the purposes of this video, with uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 40 gigabytes of hard disk space, and my machine's running an Intel Core i7-4790K Devil's Canyon processor. So yeah, let's go ahead and log in. The goal in this video in mind is so Windows XP support has ended. You can't officially get any more security updates for any version of Windows XP except Windows XP Embedded Edition or Windows XP Point of Sale 2009 Edition which was based on Windows XP instead of Windows Vista for some reason and so what you can do is there's actually a registry um, edit that you can make that allows Windows XP to continue getting security updates until May 2019. I'll actually link that registry edit down below in the video description. So although um, updates for Windows XP is officially ended, you can still unofficially get the latest um, security updates for Windows XP, and that's a really nice thing. So let's assume you have a completely patched up-to-date Windows XP installation. So what the heck can you do in Windows XP nowadays? Well, I decided to just go onto the internet and started downloading um, um, some commonly used applications that people might use in like Windows 7 and Windows 10. And I was pleasantly surprised to find out that more often than not, brand new applications developed for Windows still work completely fine on Windows XP. So first off, as far as your Office applications, Microsoft's own Microsoft Office hasn't been supported on Windows XP since 2013, but luckily 2010 is still fully supported here. And 2010, by the way, still has about three years of support remaining, so it is still perfectly acceptable to use Microsoft Office 2010 and 2016, and you probably won't have that many program, compa program compatibility issues. Just for proof, here I'm going to launch Word 2010. Works just fine. Looks just fine. Um, so let's move on to the web browser. So Windows XP, the last supported version of Internet Explorer, was Internet Explorer 8, which came out in 2009, and it is 2017 at the making of this video, so don't use it. So Firefox, they actually, Mozilla still supports Firefox for Windows XP, but in a few months from when I'm making this video, aka January of 2017, they won't. So you can use Firefox until they discontinue support for XP. Opera is fairly similar to Chrome. I believe it even runs Chrome extensions. And so Opera is going to be supported on XP into the future. There has been no end of life date announced for Opera for Windows XP. I mean, they supported Windows 95 until like 2010. So, so you're pretty safe 
as far as the web browsing part. So if you want to go web browsing, you're also going to need proper up-to-date antivirus, in my personal opinion. So um, a lot of the major antiviruses still work. I personally use Avira antivirus. Works fine. It works exactly, works exactly the same as it would work in Windows 10. Um, the launcher is sort of glitching out here, but it does work. Um, so let's say you wanted to read PDF documents. Well, Adobe Reader, um, the latest version isn't supported in Windows XP, but Adobe Reader 11 is still supported in Windows XP, and there are other PDF programs that you can still download for Windows XP. And so I mentioned this, the entire Adobe Creative Cloud suite does not work in Windows XP, unfortunately. But you can still download other similar programs to Creative Cloud, like GIMP 2 is um, a suitable alternative to uh, Photoshop for the most part, and it works perfectly fine. And then besides GIMP, actually let's like GIMP open here. And then like if you want audio editing, Audacity also works completely fine. And these are the latest and greatest versions of these applications. They aren't, these aren't some like crappy beta version of these apps from 2009. These are the latest and greatest applications. As you can see, Audacity fully works. Fire the open a file in Audacity. Um, like I went to the sample music. Uh, oh, I guess that's just a link. If I were the important audio file into Audacity, it would just work. And so, and then so you have Microsoft's own Skype still works completely fine in Windows XP. Google Earth still works fine. Then you can have Lightworks for video editing. Well, as far as Office applications, the latest version of LibreOffice still is supported in XP. And so besides all this, games are still supported in Windows XP, evidenced by the fact that I can install Steam here. And so I opened up Steam and I noticed that all sorts of games you can still download and run on Windows XP if you wanted to. So just for testing purposes, I downloaded a smaller game, Who's Your Daddy? And this is going to go really slow because this is running in a virtual machine. But Who's Your Daddy works completely fine in Windows XP. It works as expected, basically. Um, let's just give it a minute for the uh, game to load. And so besides Who's Your Daddy, I also downloaded Minecraft, and Minecraft works. It doesn't work well because I'm running it in VMware, but Minecraft does w still work on Windows XP. And I think I'm just going to end task for Who's Your Daddy. Uh, or maybe it's loading. Maybe. Ah, uh, let's just end the process. There we go. And so... If you look more into stuff that can run on Windows XP, you keep finding stuff like um, like iTunes, for example, VLC still runs on Windows XP, Qubit Torrent, um, Team Viewer, stuff like that. And so, what I conclude just from the amount of stuff that I could find that actually still works on Windows XP is that it is completely and definitely possible to run Windows XP in 2017 and more or less still have support for most major programs. And if for some reason you don't have support for this programs, Windows XP still supports the latest version of VirtualBox. And assuming your machine was powerful enough, my machine's not powerful enough but because it's in a VM, but I tried it anyways, you can actually run Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 in a, in a virtual machine in Windows XP and it will work completely fine. Once again, it doesn't work for me because um, because I'm in a virtual machine already. But I mean, assuming this was running a physical hardware that could support the specs of like Windows 7 or Windows 10, this would work completely fine. And so, where are the downsides to running Windows XP today? Well, the obvious answer is that you don't have the latest officially supported security updates and you do not um, have the latest operating system features that newer versions of Windows bring, like instant search from the start menu, for instance. And you might have incompatible programs like Office 2016 or Adobe Creative Cloud, 
But once again, if for some reason you're stuck using Windows XP, it is still a completely usable um, operating system in 2017. I just sort of wanted to make this video to sort of make a point that I've never really covered in any of my previous operating system videos. And that is just because an OS is unsupported and the built-in functions of an operating system are outdated does not mean that programs won't automatically work with the operating system because a lot will, evidenced by the fact that an over 15-year-old operating system is still able to run, you know, like big ticket items, Steam or Firefox or, I don't know, it's just pretty nice that you're still able to run all the stuff on a 15-year-old operating system, unlike, well, let's say, if you're on a phone and you have an operating system that's four years old, you probably won't be able to run almost anything modern. So, any tips you may ask on being a Windows XP refugee or holdout or whatever today? My opinion is that, first of all, definitely enable that registry hack that allows you to get security updates until 2019. Because, basically, if your OS is not getting security updates, hackers or malicious people will indeed use the vulnerabilities in the operating system to try and get into your system some way or another and so another thing is I definitely do recommend having an antivirus in Windows XP for some reason I accidentally clicked on the hotspot shield a working up-to-date antivirus is also a good defense against a lot of malicious threats and then so something else to toy with the idea is if you still have a Windows XP machine is it not connected to the internet at all and not to keep any personal or sensitive information on Windows XP because once again, there are no officially supported security updates for the consumer versions and business versions of Windows XP. The only supported updates are for Windows Point of Sale 2009. And so as, in order to like, um, let's say for some reason though that you did want to use Windows XP with the internet. You know, what I'd probably try to do instead of messing around with program compatibility for an operating system this old is that I would seriously consider doing all my computing right in the web browser. You can't really do something like video editing in the web browser or anything like that, but you'd probably be amazed at what you can do in the web browser. Like for example, if I were to go to Word Online, it for the most part, you can't really see this here because I have this pop-up here, but you can actually use Word and it will have similar functions to the copy of Microsoft Word that's on your computer. And you can also like, you can also have like a proper music application online. You can have cloud storage with the likes of Dropbox or OneDrive or iCloud Drive or etc. And then you can do video chatting online, like you can use Skype online, and then Google Earth online, like, I'd seriously probably, if I was using Windows XP, is I wouldn't keep any personal sensitive information on my computer, and I probably would not go to the trouble of downloading and installing most apps or out-of-date apps, like, I, the only reason I installed um, Office 2010 was to uh, have an actual working version of Microsoft Office on here. But I would probably, if I was using Windows XP, try to live my life in the web browser because that would just be easiest for an operating system this old. And um, yeah, that's my personal opinion. Now, in my opinion, I really do not advocate running Windows XP in 2017 except for if you have compatibility problems with old programs. Like if you have an old computer and it's running Windows XP, like if you have a 2002 laptop running Windows XP, my advice is either A, don't connect it to the internet, or B, wipe it and install Ubuntu. So yeah, that was my video today, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.